guys, this is Crunch Comedy 99. This is no part of anybody else's song. I made it up. Okay, I've been playing this and I've customized it lots of times. I've customized it like, I don't know how many times, I can't even count anymore. It started from very small to like, now it's like 17 minutes. It used to be like a little two minute tune, now it's 17 minutes, alright. I'm not going to play the whole piece all together, but I'm going to show you how to play the pieces. Alright, I didn't steal anything. And these are the only chords you're using. See? Like the start of G and the end of G. See? More or better. See? These are the chords. Now this string, you're going to add your ring finger on it. And you're going to keep your pinky on the E, the big one. Why not? Huh? Keep your middle finger on the big E and keep your pinky on the little E. I don't know all the names of the strings. I don't even know E, E, G. Alright, I'm not good at my strings. Okay, now you're going to get your index and you can put it on the second smallest. Or the second biggest, I should say. <laughs> string. Now you're going to move it up again. You move it up again. Now, the index finger doesn't matter in this chord. See? Now. Now you're going to get D. Put your pinky where the ring finger is. Now move your pinky to the first dot. Now your middle finger doesn't matter too. I have a little trouble playing that. <laughs> so it might come out squeaky when I'm showing you. Okay. Now. Here's E. Most people know E. No A minor, only E. We're not using A minor. So. Now you're going to move to the second dot and take your ring finger off. Now put your middle finger on the, on the second dot, but leave your index finger in between the dots. And you're going to get... Now put your ring finger on the big E on the dot. Now you're going to do the same thing, but move it up a dot. See? Forgot that card. Now a new one. Move your index finger with your ring finger, or your middle finger, and put it on the dot. So... Use this chord. My brother made up these chords. That's Emerson A's. I'm Crunch Comedy. Here. On the G, and then in the... I think this might be the D. I don't know. You guys have to send me comments to let me know. I know I'm horrible at strings. Again. <laughs> See. Now you're going to move your middle finger to the second biggest string. Now you're going to move your index to the G in the first fret. Now you're going to put your index where it was in the first chord, or your middle in the, the first chord. Now you're going to move your index down, so it's, see, it's almost the same. You're just moving it down. Now, for the fun part, these chords. These actually give the real tone of it. And then notes. this, now you're going to take your middle finger off. Now you're going to do the same thing to the chord that you moved up. And you're not going to do it to this one. 
Sí. Y de eso. Discord stay normal. These two are the only ones that change. The only ones that change. Okay, so. The weird G. I think this is a B. Somewhere on a B. I don't know. I don't know much chords. This is a D. You change the D. Now the E. I never showed you that one. You're going to take your middle finger off the second biggest string. Now, this is another note. Now, the picking for the first piece you're going to use is this. See? These two have to go together. E and E go together. Always keep tempo on the bass, though. If you keep tempo on this, you're going to get lost. You have to keep tempo on this. Keep tempo on that. If you keep tempo on this, you're, you're gonna get lost. You're gonna go. You're gonna start doing weird stuff. Okay. Always keep tempo on the bass. My brother told me that. Keep tempo on the bass. When you're in band, like symphonic band, you got like trombones, trumpets, saxophones, flutes. You always want to keep tempo on your music. Don't. If you hear like you're going on your T-bone or your saxophone, whatever you're doing, you're going. G, F, C, whatever you're doing, then you should keep tempo on that. Don't keep tempo on the trumpets. If the trumpets are doing 16th notes, then don't follow that. Keep tempo on yourself. Now, that's almost like this. Keep tempo on the bass. See? Alright, I'm not going to skip that, alright? I'm going to teach you how to do that. Okay, watch. E and E together. By the time you're done... You're done with the E. The E is out of sound. And then you do it again. See? Watch. Look. The, this is the top. The weird high stuff. See? Bass is... Although it's not that fast. Okay. Now put it together. If you get the idea, you can learn it instantly, like I did. My brother was playing that, and I was like, whoa, how do you play that? I found it out. I made an entire song ever since this chord has been my glory. This one chord. This and this just took me through this entire song and the old stuff that I learned put into it. Now, here it is. Now, this chord, the original G, you're only going to use that chord once through the entire song. 17 minutes. 17 minutes, you're only going to use this chord once. This is why. Now since I had this middle finger here, I take it off. Now if you have friends that think weird about that, um, yeah, <laughs> I haven't have it had to, haven't had it happen to me. But I'm assuming it's going to happen to me at least once or more. See? Looks like you're flipping somebody off. <laughs> Try to hide it, alright? Try not to do this. Try to do... Try to, like, lay it off so it kind of looks like you're not flipping them off. You're just taking it off a little bit. Alright? Now watch. See, that's connected. But you're going to do a swing later on. This is the swing. Now when you're done doing the swing, you're doing... Now when you go... 
you're going to do swing it once, and then you're going to connect it up like this. Add a rest there. All right, I sped up the tempo, all right, because I wanted to. You don't have to speed up the tempo. If you speed up the tempo, there's a higher risk of you messing up. I have done it before. I'm all uh, in my bed and, and playing my guitars, laying down or sitting up, and I was just... And then I sped up the tempo, and then poof, I screwed myself. So you don't want to do that, right? If you want to speed up the tempo, that's okay. But speed it up till you can play it, right? If you can speed it up till you can't play it, uh, we got a problem. That means you can't play it. All right, so this is the tempo. I like to take it out. Now when you do that, that tells you you're going in the second piece, the strum part. Yay, the fun part. <laughs> so, you're going to swing it first. Now, watch. When you're done doing that, swinging, now you're connecting it, you're going to go... it or swing it's up to you I prefer swing and I don't know what I did <laughs> kind of like poof I forgot <laughs> all right so swing it if you want but it's better to swing it since it sounds better see now you're gonna let those ring just for a little bit all right and I kind of forgot I was thinking about it for those of you people who do not know what tempo is, tempo is how fast you play it. So this is slow tempo. This is fast tempo. Okay, so when you're done doing this, This is the strumming. Now when you change chords, you're gonna go. Right. Because you wanna get that. Because it sounds the chord, makes the chord sound better when you come to it. See, you get that slurry sound, so it's going. You done. Now you want to do that. Now you let those ring. Now when you go, you're going to do it backwards. Kind of get that rocky sound, see? Now, this is a really jumpy rhythm. I lost my brother on it. Alright, see? See? So I'm going... One, two, stop. See? So it's one, two, stop, one. So it's one, two, stop, one, stop. Two, so it's so you go two, then you stop, and then you play, stop, play, then you go back to two. See, all right, now you don't go back to the G, all right, when you're done.
hammock would be an accent. This is a difference between an accent. That's normal. This is accent. You're, when, the definition of an accent is attack the note louder. Now, a crescendo is... You're getting louder gradually. A day crescendo is... You're getting... See? You might get confused or you might not. A day crescendo is when you're getting loud and you're getting softer. Alright, now when you're done... You're... Now, uh, the tempo, I know, I don't know why it's French or whatever it is, but forte means loud. That's what you're playing at. You're playing at mecha forte, which is medium loud. Now, you're going to bring it down to piano, which is soft. Mecha piano is medium soft. Fortissimo, whatever it is. I don't know, fortissimo. Fortissimo is extra loud. Triple F, whatever the name is, it's super loud. <laughs> I've never seen a triple P, but I've seen a double P, and I think that's pertissimo. That's really soft. Okay, now, you're going... So you're going forte, mecha forte, mecha piano, now piano. So you... Now, you don't want to do that to the second chord. to swing that really fast. It's like a 16th note, see? See? Now, that kind of came out wrong. <laughs> so, when you're done doing that, you want to bring it down, and then you do that. Alright? Do it soft, okay? See? I'm slapping it. <laughs> okay, so now you're done. Now you go back to this. Now you want to do it twice. See? Now you do that same thing. You repeat it, and then when you're going for a third time, you're going to go. Now you're going to swing it, and you're going to go. Now keep the same string that you're picking at. Move the string down. That's what this finger's for. Plus I have the other string on. It's just in case you mess up. You can add it and then you do something crazy and then make it look like you didn't mess up. Okay, so you're supposed to play in the chord like this. But if I have this there, I can go. See, I kind of messed up and then I went. Now you can actually add something to it. But you don't want to do that, right? You don't want to mess up, okay? And if you mess up and you find out something cool and you can play it again, please tell me, okay? I can probably add it to the song. Okay, watch. This is all swing. Now the swing goes two. So. Now it's you're moving the chord up and you're using natural slats and sharps. Now you're going to hit this string, right there. So it's... Oops. Whoops. <laughs> so. Oh. oh.
oh, that's why I'm not using that string, because it's in the, the high stuff. I was like, well, I thought I was supposed to use that string. Okay, so. Right there, you're supposed to look here, all right? Now you can rewind the video, all right? Okay, so I'm fine with that. Oh, and offend me all you want. Okay, I really don't care. So. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to go... Fingers hurt. <laughs> Twenty minutes of showing you something, and you're going. Your fingers are constantly like this. You got to find a way how to make them like this. I have a problem with that. But that's why my fingers hurt. Okay. <laughs> so when you're when you're done, you're gonna go. Eeny. Now you're gonna move it in one. Chord. Now you're still in the middle. So now you're gonna go. second chord. Now, here's the hard part. This is the picking through the entire thing. Now it's... Now it's... Now. Back down. Now let it go natural. Don't slap it though. <laughs> now are you gonna hit this string? It's natural, right? Now it's the first one, and you go, and you come back down. It, it's, and then you come back down again, and then you go. Now you start with the other chord. Now you go to the weird chord. This here, what I'm doing is I'm letting the string do it by itself. That's what I thought. That when I'm going here, I was thinking of going. No, I thought, well, how about let's let the string do it by itself? You can hear that. That's what's so nice about it, see? Now, now instead of going, you're going. It's the same thing, but you're doing this. It's the same thing all over again, but you're using three strings. Even when you come back down. See? Now when you go for this chord, you don't go... That chord is not matching with this. That just screws it all up. So when you're going... Now you're going to do the original. One, two.
Oh, this is the even harder part. See? See? Now, that's it. Now, well, why? The don't add this chord when you're doing that. Okay. Now, you're going to backslash it. This chord, you can only do it once. Now you're gonna stop stopping it. See? Now this is the pick one. Let those ring when you're coming back down. Now you're gonna skip when you go, you're gonna do it again, but when you come back down, now you're gonna go, now you're gonna swing that. Now you're gonna go. Leave this one up. It actually sounds nice. Now, this is the strumming this section. Now, you have to take the tempo fast, okay? Now, this chord, you're gonna go. You cannot change chords when you just. You cannot change chords without playing this. Or it doesn't sound nice. All right. Go down, you're gonna go. When you're done doing that twice, you're gonna go. So, so slower. Take these two off. Wow, finally a rest for my fingers. Probably rest for your fingers too. Wow, that hurts. Alright, so. You're gonna wanna leave this one. Don't leave this, don't play this one. It sounds horrible, see? E. This is what I taught eat for. See? Eat? <laughs> e. <laughs> now, this is up to you. When you go... Now you get to do whatever you want. Right? I do this. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want right there. As long as you want. But you have to have these off. You have to have those off, right? Do whatever you want. Now, you have to go, when you do this chord, this is, this is the only way to go into to E, see? Now, E 
he's gonna sound a little heavy metal. See? Well, that's trying. Now you're gonna get the E, not E. E. See? Now you're gonna get your pinky and play the little bit of the E. But on this fret, second fret. Now I have trouble holding a chord and going. So I go. Now this is it. Tempo seems like it's. No, tempos. See? Tap, tap, tap. See? Tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. tap. See, the tempo is based on this. It seems really slow, it's not. It's epically fast. See? It's a two measure weight. Second fret. G first the second hammer. Now you're gonna take your ring finger off to get. Okay, so sounds a little dull. Nothing touching it, right? Now, you're gonna start using those chords, so. Accent. Now this song is just a giant crescendo. That's what it is, so. a little loud. Now this rhythm. See, now this chord. See, ring finger on the second dot. Now you're going. You kind of hear that. Play that twice. Back up. Now this chord. That's how you end it, right? Now. I'm end it. Up here now. See? Move it up. See? To the dot. See? This dot.
not this chord. these chords. sudden you go now and you go that one chord this one the sudden you play it you're gonna swing it down so bring it back up now you're gonna do the same thing add this to the second, uh, the first dot, but move it down a little, so, whoops. taught that card. Again, accent. Back to the big crescendo.
now I'm gonna go. All of a sudden you hit this note. So it's. It's like the forgotten chord. Now, weird chord. I'm not using a pick, right? I'm using an index finger. All right. Now I'm gonna go. Let the string do it by itself. Start looking at the guitar, <laughs> not the camera. <laughs> the side. Now you're gonna get it. Instead of it's higher. It's see. chords I didn't show you. Alright, I'll be back. I gotta do something, alright? I'll be back. Fast. So, so my mom wants me to do something. All right, so, so.
this here. Hear that? Da, da. This is what it is. You're moving the chord all the way up here without moving the chord. All right, I'll teach you how to do it. Now, you push on the fret, on the fret bar while you're picking. See how it goes? Push harder on the chord. You can get that da, da, instead of da, da. See? It's the end of it. You're done. Well, it's great um, teaching you guys. I hope you had a great time. I know it was kind of hard that I was kind of going ahead and you're getting stressed out. Um, it's okay. It's, it's, it can be hard at times. It took me a while to learn this. I kind of still have trouble with it, but you should do that, right? Now, I was thinking a little early before I started the video. I was thinking, well, people might have lyrics for it. If you have lyrics for it and you have learned the song, try to write out the lyrics and combine it with the song. Now you can write it out with the song and stuff and then videotape it and send it to me. And then I could probably add it and sing it. Alright? No, no, no bad words are right. It's supposed to be a nice song. Okay? This is uh, Crunch Comedy signing out. Thanks for watching my video of me playing my song. <laughs>